Hi, my name is Tishe. We are here in Artesia to promote mental health awareness within the South Asian community. A subject, a topic which is so often less spoken about but so important in today's times. So let's open this to discussion and see what the people have to say about it. What are your thoughts on mental health issues within the South Asian community and why aren't we talking about it? I think that's common uh, because of uh, stress. In general, there's stigma associated with uh, mental health issues in general, right? Like even here in the States. And I think in the Indian community, those stigmas are even deeper. Whether it's depression or anxiety or, you know, uh, social, social, psychological, um, you know, mental health issues or, or what have you. I think they exist, but we don't talk about it as nearly as much in this South Asian community. I feel it's a stigma because people think of mental health like people are crazy. You know, it has that kind of like weird connotation for people. They don't think of it as an illness. You know, a lot of the South Asians, they're immigrants coming in here. It's a very different culture. On one hand, they want to retain their own culture. On the second hand, they want to fit into like the American culture that's already in place. Depression happens when they're trying to fit in, but they can't. They're being ostracized from their peers, their colleagues. What are the mental health issues that you've seen people have within the South Asian community? Primarily depression. And I think uh, with the South Asian community, they have great difficulty in communicating even with their acquaintances or their family that they do have that issue. And that's the reason why a lot of times we see that it's not even addressed. Depression is a big one, I think. Causes, of course, can be many. It could be financially re related, work related. They could be mostly, I think, relationship issues. The mental health issues in our communities have really got to do with parents not understanding the younger generation. You know, they are not into their own cultures as much. And that puts a lot of pressure trying to live two different lives. I think there's actually a lot of family pressures as well, which contributes to a lot of the depression and anxiety. So pressures on whether it's school starting at a young age, whether it's when you're going to get married, who you get married to, your job later. So all that contributes a lot to the depression and anxiety, and people are so afraid to talk about it, worrying about what you said about a lot of the judgment. We can't say that we're depressed, especially with postpartum depression. A lot of Indian women or South Asian women will will have issues after giving birth, but um, you know, our moms and mothers-in-laws will then say that this is normal and this is, we all have been through it, everyone goes through it, and it's just, it's hard to talk about it. Depression is very common, uh, especially across uh, people like us who work in IT. There are, you know, IT or sales who have so much pressure meeting the targets, uh, achieving some goals that are set for us. So that causes a little bit of depression that, that could lead to, you know, lack of self-respect, self-confidence. My father suffered from depression and he did get help, but there was a lot of people who really didn't understand. Uh, they would say, go for a walk, you'll feel better when you go for a walk. Do this, you'll feel better. And he would always say, I can't. And there was a lot of times that I didn't understand it and I'm sorry that I didn't th then. So we need to understand there are some people who can take the medications and be fine with it. There are others who have, you know, deeper scars that they have to work with. What according to you in a nutshell is the simplest way of handling this? First thing we have to understand that mental illness is just like any other sickness and we should not ignore it and the society should not feel that it's a stigma. Like somebody has a heart attack, they don't call it a social problem. They say it's just like a sickness. So the mental issues are just like sickness and people have to realize that anybody can go through the mental sickness. You know, sometimes we don't even realize that somebody is suffering from a mental illness, like let's say depression. We wouldn't know that they are depressed unless we we're educated about it then you know we think oh maybe that person's depressed but you see you know where depression can lead to suicide and if we are educated we can at least understand the person better why is that person behaving a certain way you know maybe there's a mental health issue with it rather than they're just crazy. If we can have seminars, you have get-togethers, you have uh, organized events where people can be, uh, learn about mental illnesses, I think it would be easier for everyone around to rec recognize if their acquaintance has that problem. I think the movie Dear Zindagi did a very good job about at least beginning to open the discussion how she started seeing a therapist. And I think um, with Indian people especially that Bollywood speaks a lot of volumes and it's a way to address a mass population at the same time. If you have 
more outreach programs like that, I think people will be more willing to go talk to a therapist, maybe even a psychiatrist, and start taking medications if needed. Uh, what you're doing right now is probably a great start, you know, just opening up the conversation, making, you know, try, the more people talk about it, the more people come forward. Um, specifically in the South Asian community, the actress, the beautiful, stunning Deepika Padukone, right? She's come out a few years ago to talk about her, um, her issue with depression. Um, and, and I think those type of people, when they use their power and influence and, and platform uh, to, to bring that forward, I think that's very helpful. So I think people should also accept that yes, it's possible that we can also have mental issues and we should go and consult a proper doctor instead of just uh, hiding behind the fact that we cannot have mental issues. So you think this problem is solvable? I completely think it's solvable. I think in the South Asian community, we have a lot of knowledge, but sometimes we're afraid to act upon it too. We have so many resources, so many physicians, lawyers, engineers within our community. The knowledge is there, I think, and the support is there. We just have to be out seeking it and we have to be open to receiving it. If you or your loved one needs help, you can contact the Los Angeles County Department of Mental Health at 1-800-854-7771. Your call is safe and confidential.